तो माय स्किन वेरी विल जॉइन दिस सो स्टडे आई हैव स्टार्टेड हाउ टू क्रिएट एक्सएमएल एक्सएमएल फाइल ओके सो दिस इज योर एक्सएमएल फाइल स्टेप्स टू क्रिएट टू एक्सएमएल फाइल and after creating the xml file you will get like that <coughs> okay so this is nothing but you know we will go in this xml file instead i have created uh, this okay so you can see uh, this is your xml file so this is for default this stuff is by default it is coming all the stuff okay so we'll discuss all the stuff so these this are the by default is coming this is also by default is coming picture of the xml file is starting from here to here <coughs> so this is your shoot name so what is the shoot and all we'll discuss thread count it is taking by default 5 okay we'll discuss later here the test name is test one okay so this is you know class and is this class and you can see we are closing this class here open and close inside this we have i will discuss all the stuffs okay what is this and all uh, how to create the xml file study i discuss right <coughs> okay what happened after creating this we will get like that uh, structure of this xml file and you know automatically xml file will be created in the same project whenever we open this file we might we see the xml in the table format to see this some source code and click on this search button okay now again i am going to create this xml file okay <coughs> so, so how to create this xml file select all the packages okay now i am going to select this i am going to select all the packages this And now you can see we have a test ng and convert to test ng. So yesterday I have created for same, but I will change the name of this. So this is your name of the XML. So extension of the XML file is dot XML file. If you will not give this extension, then XML file will won't be created, right? So you can see if you are saving any file. so the the file will be saved in the you know that extension <coughs> so you can see java dot java file dot class file dot python file so same like that we have a dot xml file now i am going to change this name okay okay so test ng and uh, like i am giving today 25 okay so now i am going to create this after doing this finish okay <coughs> so now you can see this xml <coughs> file is created here new xml file okay whatever i have created here okay so what happens sometime it is showing some table to okay. it is showing directly like that by default sometime it will come like that so same thing i have mentioned automatically xml file will be created in the same project whenever we open the xml file might we see the xml table okay sometime what happen if we will create this xml file by default this table will you know it will see but now it is not showing so what you have to do it will show like that so what you have to do <coughs> to open this source code click on the source button okay if your file while creating the file it will show like that just click on source button okay so same thing i have mentioned it we cannot generate xml file using dot java class okay because <coughs> we are working with test ng right we are working with test ng this this class is not for the java class file right so that that thing i have mentioned here so because in the real time we are using only test and you only <coughs> this is a simple thing syntax of xml file 
ओके सूट नेम टेस्ट नेम दिस इज द क्लासेस ओपनिंग दिस क्लासेस सो दिस इज योर पैकेज नेम एंड दिस इज योर क्लास नेम सो दिस विल डिस्कस जस्ट आई हैव गिवन दिस सिंपल यू नो ओवर व्यू ऑफ एच विल डिस्कस ऑल द स्टफ इन साइड एच एक्स एम एल फाइल एवरीथिंग विल कम सो कलेक्शन ऑफ द मल्टीपल टेस्ट केसेस इज कॉल्ड टेस्ट शूट वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ टेस्ट शूट राइट वी हैव क्रिएटेड दिस यू नो कॉम डॉट दिस इज आवर पैकेज इन सैट इज पैकेज वी हैव अ मल्टीपल क्लासेस इन सैट दिस क्लासेस वी हैव अ मल्टीपल टेस्ट केसेस so same thing i have mentioned here collection of multiple test case is called test suit so someone will ask what is the test suit so collection of multiple test case is called suit execute multiple test case through using test and list of xml file is called batch execution <coughs> what is the meaning of the batch execution batch execution means i want to execute this test cases from you know this using xml file so when we are executing multiple test cases by using this xml file that is called batch execution we'll see the practical okay <coughs> so this is called your batch all are interview question what is the test ng they will enter the test ng and they will come with annotation how many annotation you have used in your project you will tell i used at direct test before method after method then they will ask what is the use of this before class where we are using this before class okay why we are using the test ng why we are not using the j unit okay so what is the batch execution what is the test suit so all are your interview question only okay <coughs> in order to achieve batch execution all the test cases should be implemented using the test ng classes and test ng annotation <coughs> so they will again ask if you have a java class can i create the batch can i do the batch execution no because batch execution and xml stuff we can achieve by using the test ng classes in your project test ng should be configured test ng should be imported <coughs> then we are able to work with test ng annotation test ng access by using the xml files okay so everything they can ask you know like not directly they will give the some twist why they are giving the some twist because you are checking your competent you are competent or not okay so test ng batch execution can be done by using the xml file and xml file is always a start with suit right this is a starting with suit test classes xml tag this thing i have mentioned okay this is your simple a uh, starting okay <coughs> so one test ng suit can have a multiple test run as well right? yeah in one test ng we have a multiple test cases right so in order to execute n number of test ng classes a specify by the test ng class name along with package name in the in class of xml file you know in this the <coughs> so this is your package name and this is your class name okay this is stuff this is your package name okay where is this package name what is the package name com dot test ng so this is your package name and this is your class name you can see this is my package name second class what it is you can see disable test case so this is your package name again this is your another test class so a screenshot google it's there yes it's there okay so this is the inside this this classes tag okay this class tag is opening here and closing here so in one class having the multiple test cases so same thing i am going to explore here okay <coughs> so that thing i have mentioned here. in one xml file we can invoke a number of test ng classes okay there is no limitation of this 
you can involve n number of test in the classes there is no limitation of this okay <coughs> okay but class should be within the project but what you have to do this class should be within this project only this selenium batch 2018 class should be within the only package then we are able to make n number of we can invoke n number of you know test ng classes okay so this is you know <coughs> now we will explore this we have learned the test ng and all so we have a depends on method okay they can give you the scenario we have a hundred test cases okay i want to execute 80 number of the test cases first okay after 80 test cases will execute 80 number of the test cases will be executed then then it will execute from 1 2 3 4 5 how will you do that okay so we have a dependent depends on method okay inside this we have a priority i want to give the first priority of the 10 test cases means we have a 20 test cases my client requirement is yeah some models of the application is dependent means dependency means uh, if our 18 test case will execute it will pass then you know 10 from 10 it will pass the another test cases i want to execute first 18 test cases how will you do that so we have a concept called priority you can give the priority wise you can execute your test cases okay so now we have a depends method class so where it is depends on method <coughs> i think depends on method itself but don't confuse with this one okay now you can see i will explain this okay you can see we have a one test cases another test cases so you can how many test cases is there this test case one test case two test case three and test case four okay we have a four test cases you can see I want to execute four test cases first, so that's why I have given the first priority. Okay, you can see we have a minus one also. Okay, so let's see the execution of this. Which one will execute first? This is the test case one, test case two, test case three, and test case four. But I have given the priority. So according to the priority we can execute our test cases okay so now i'm going to execute this <coughs> so they cannot ask what is the priority they will give you the scenario i want to execute you know 99 test cases first you have a 100 test cases i want to execute 99 test cases first how will you do it? then we can use the priority we can give the priority one right <coughs> so now i'm going to execute this executing okay so this is your dummy example you can we can come with real time okay with, uh, you know, so you can see test case one is executed test case you know why this test case one is executing highest priority is minus one okay that's why the test case first is executed okay you can see now the test case 4 is executed because we have given the priority 1 ok uh, not this one right? I have to execute this one I executed this one yes I will execute because they are confused <coughs> So I think yeah, I think I executed first. 
so you can see yeah last time i executed only this one okay so you can see the first test case one is executed first why because the minus one having the highest period okay so this is your also interview question they will give you this priority they can ask you this priority which one is executed first test case one or yeah, test case four so test case one is executing first then you can see test case four is executing and two and three i have given like that okay so like that you know the how to priority is working with the test engine okay so this is the one concept <coughs> so test ng always execute from a direct test method because based on their alphabetical order if you are not giving any priority and also it is uh, executing according to the alphabetical but we are not using any alphabetical stuff here right tc1 0 we have given so but by default if you are not giving the any priority and if you are using the alphabetical stuff in your test cases name test case name means this okay test case name so by default it is executing alphabetical order but in order to execute test case in a specified order either go for priority or depends on method so we have a one more a step to create a dependencies of the test cases that is called depends on so i am using your priority so zero is the most top most priority for the test and minus one value can have a, a lot in the priority then that will be have a highest okay so zero is the most priority for the test cases top most and this is your highest okay so we'll try to this okay i have given this minus one you can put the zero then you will get the difference okay so we'll make it this <coughs> okay uh, i think this is also same example i have given right <coughs> this example same example is here so no need to execute this so we have a one more concept that is called depends on method so if the first test case failed that is does not make any sense to run the second and third okay what happened so like that one okay priority is the different stuff like you know i want to execute first one what is this my voice is breaking all of you Okay, I have recorded this session. Uh, today I did not uh, uploaded this video, but today I will try to upload because yesterday I did not get the time. Okay, Preeti, I will. You can repeat my uh, session. Okay, if you are facing the network problem, other people are also facing this. Shonam Jina. Yes. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. You guys are also facing. Okay, okay. I'll try to disconnect once. Wait for some time. I will pause this. Okay. <coughs> so we were on this depends on method. Okay. So depends on method means like I told you know like the priority the different stuff like I want to be execute hundred test cases first. But depends on method is it is totally depend upon one test cases with other test cases so in the real time where you will get in this type of you know depends on method you have to use this so in real time you will get like modules you know application i can give the example of any application you can take right <coughs> my application my scenario is i want to verify the registration page okay i want to verify registration page so after registration the users are able to log in so first we are what you have to verify a registration page right so first registration page is verified means new user is registered then he is able to log in so my requirement is this the first registration page will verify then login page will verify so if registration page will not work then my login page also will not work so this is the dependent means registration page depends upon login page so where we can use this depends on method okay if the first test case failed means registration page 
that it doesn't make any sense to run second and third phase okay test case on the depend on the test cases so in this type of scenario you can use the dependencies between the test cases okay there are two and third the test cases are depend on the first test cases login page and home page okay it login page and home page it depend upon the registration page same thing i have mentioned so we have a syntax of this so at the red test depends on we have given this login test cases okay <coughs> so how to create the dependency between the two test cases in selenium it mean that the test case name like we have a another scenario test account okay depend on the test cases whose name is login test case right registration page it depends upon your login page so i have given the different example test account is depend upon login page so until your login test case will not execute successfully means registration page will not execute successfully this test case won't be executed so if the login page will pass this test case will execute means if registration page will pass then our login test case will pass this test will execute if the login test case will fail then this case won't be executed means our registration page would what will not work then login page won't be work okay running all the skip this cases and this test case will come under the skip the test cases so how to use this <coughs> okay so we have a depends on method so we have a depends on method okay so this is your dependent depends on method okay now okay so simply so this is the depends on test login right it is depends this is one test cases right test login okay login page now i have created the dependencies of this so depends on login page test account means this test case will pass then this case will pass if this case will this test case will fail it will fail now i have created test logout page both test case will pass then this logout will work so you can pass two parameters also inside this means in this third test case two depend two test cases are dependent okay now i am going to simply execute okay <coughs> so <coughs> if i will execute simply then so what is the output will come because this is the dummy example so all the test case will pass okay here all the test case is pass so now you can see just because no error nothing okay so now i have just i'm going to do something you know like that i'm not okay not this is okay let's see not i am uh, okay i want to fail this test cases okay I will fail one test cases. Okay, I'm just copying this. Okay, now I'm going to fail this test cases. I I will not explain this enable, uh, but I will explain this. Okay, separate. Okay. So enable equal to false. Not here. I think I have to go regarding here. Okay, sometimes I'm also confused. Okay, next. Not. 
confuse this sometime it happen <laughs> little bit you know if you will do like this go under mistake and don't do this <laughs> okay so here we have okay never equal to false never equal to false means i don't want to execute this yeah i want to fail this case test case so what happened if it will failed then it will also not work right so let's see that's why it's by default is not coming because i'm giving this parameter in method we have to give inside this test and test at the rate test okay so let's see what can happen okay now i'm going to execute this just keep it keep in your ready your profile okay you can see <coughs> what is this you can see this red this com dot test ng depend upon depends on the method dot you know this you know test ng login okay so what happened the first test is which is not annotated or the red test i have not executed uh, included okay so that's why it is failing this why it is failing because this two test cases are depends upon this first test case so this is also depends upon this and this is also depends upon this so that's why you know are you able to understand what is the meaning of depends on this test case will execute then this test case will also execute this test case will also execute so this is the meaning of depends on <coughs> Okay, this is the another step of test ng so in the above scenario if the test login will pass then only test account will execute or test logout will only execute of login and test logout account will execute means all are dependent okay if but if the test login will fail due to some error or exception like i did enable equal to false okay due to some error or exception like i did enable equal to false right <coughs> so what happened test account will not be execute and test case will skip or logout depend upon this so same thing i have written here how should disable this test cases so same thing you have to put enable equal to false this is also your interview question how to disable the test cases in the test ng class so same thing how to same i have mentioned here right <coughs> so same example i have given here you can see here i create sale and you can see this create sale is also depend upon this but i did disable this i don't want to execute this so here you can learn same example i have given here right but here i was not using this okay this concept now i am going to leave but before i explain this never equal to false because i want to tell you how to work with depends on the same thing all are your interview question enable equal to false then we are not able to execute this here you can disable your test cases so it will also fail right because this is the depend upon this create test okay if you will not pass this test case name properly it want to work so whatever the test case you have given you have to pass accept this otherwise it want to work so it will also fail right so same previous example but here one more concept <coughs> that is enable equal to false okay so okay so why it is failed because this is the enable that's why this first test case is depend upon this create cell is depend upon this creating billing test means creating billing test is depend upon this if i will not use this then what happen it will execute right because both test case will pass first will pass and second will also pass first test case is means create cell is you know create billing test is depend upon the this now it is it is it is passed because there is no obstacle 
there is no exception nothing is there so that's why it is you know it is fast okay so <coughs> this is the meaning of enable equal to false okay so this is one more concept how to work with this you know here just i have given this little bit you know in the test ng just i have given the theory regarding this whatever i have discussed right so com dot test ng disable and create billing test depending upon this method disable test case and which is not annotated with a direct test or not included okay in the test ng we can achieve this simply enable attribute and set the value true and false here you can put the true means it will work false means it won't be work means it will get disabled okay so if the test case are enabled as a false while the running the test case runner simply will ignore this test cases and will only run the test cases enabled to set the true if you will put the true it will work okay if you will uh push means if you will use this false it will uh, skip this test cases okay yeah it will in, uh, enable in disable this test cases okay one more uh interview question how to execute one test cases in the multiple times multiple times what happen your client want to execute one test cases uh, like 15 times they want like you know if the users we are the users right so one login page you know the 100 user are using at a time okay so what he did he want to execute one test cases 10 to 15 times they want to test one test cases in 10 to 15 times so we have a one uh, this invocation count so how many times you want to be execute one test cases we will use this invocation count and i want to execute 10 times any number of you can give here okay so execution on test cases multiple times so we have and this <coughs> on this one okay in this class so you can see we have our test create cell so i want to execute 10 times i want to execute this is 10 times okay now i am going to execute 10 times <coughs> okay so you can see one test cases how many times we have executed 10 times okay so you can give like any number of times you can give so same test cases i want to execute 10 times i want to execute 5 times only okay so it will execute one test cases 5 times only okay <coughs> so it depends upon number of count what you want to give so all are your interview question you can ask in the interview what is the next topic okay this is the group execution so next day i will teach you this group execution okay uh, because this is i have to explain more it will take half an hour like so okay so what do you have